Today we're in the tour van with new Mizuno irons. That's right, it's the Mizuno Pro 24 series and I have Mr. Kevin Kraft here to test them out. So stay tuned with us. We're gonna do some testing, some track man comparison between the three models and we'll tell you everything you know about these irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined here today by Mr. Kevin Kraft. Uh, we are in the Minnetonka tour van. Uh, we also have some new irons and yes, uh, one of our favorite iron brands has a new se uh, series out in 2024, Mizuno Pro 24 irons. And this is kind of the, the MP line of years past, right? Where there's, yeah. you know, some, you have three sets or three models, excuse me. You have a, a blade, which is the Mizuno Pro 241. You have sort of the player's cavity type, which is the Mizuno Pro 243. And then you also have the hollow body, almost player's distance type model, which is the Mizuno Pro 245. Yep. So, um, Kevin, Mizuno irons in the past, known for the feel. Yep. Um, they're really improving the performance in a lot of ways now. They're really getting more dynamic with the designs of their irons, and you can see with this series too. Yeah, I mean, uh, just looking at them, you can see some significant changes to the overall looks. Mm -hmm. uh, blade lengths are a little bit smaller, so it's got that more player's compact design. Um, real big change to the to the top line, especially in the, mm -hmm. in the uh, 241 and the two, four, three, uh, they look spectacular. Yeah, yeah, and Mizuno irons have always looked the part. Um, yeah. They've always been awesome, and then they also have, each of these models also has that copper underlay for uh, another kind of, you know, that gives you that trademark Mizuno feel. Yeah. Um, the Mizuno Pro 241 will start, that's the blade model. I'm just gonna kind of go through a little bit of some of the changes. They tapered the blade design, um, and within that, there's a, a you know, more weight behind the hitting zone for enhanced feel, better results there. Um, they refined the sole shape a little bit, so some better kind of turf relief. Um, and then, of course, they're also grain flow forged in Japan in their, it's their process. Um, the 243 is interesting because uh, the note there for me is that the longer irons are built much differently than the shorter irons. So the longer irons are primarily made of forged uh, chromoly. The short irons are forged 1025E carbon steel. So a lot different feel probably between those two, but I think it also works because you're gonna get more distance and forgiveness in those long irons with the 243s. Um, and then you still get that classic feel and workability with the short irons, which yeah, is a big deal. You kind of see that with multiple manufacturers yeah. now where uh, player distance iron, where it's, you mm -hmm. know, it's different in the, you know, more control oriented in the right. lower irons and a little more speed oriented in the in the longer irons. So mm -hmm. um, it's maybe a little unexpected from Mizuno given their their history of, yeah. of just all about, you know, control and control and control. But, um, you know, this is a very much a modern iron. So, you know, we're stepping into, uh, in, well, we're already in the new century. Yeah, but, right, right. You know, you know what I mean? I do know yeah. what you mean. Well, I, we saw a little bit of that with the 223 model. There was a little bit of juice. Yeah. Um, in that iron that was probably different from past Mizuno irons. And so it seems like they're taking that a step further um, with the 243 yeah. model. And then the 245, again, it's that kind of hollow body, um, you know, multi-material type of design. Key here, 47 grams of suspended tungsten here to um, in, the, in the two through seven irons, which really gives a, you know, a little extra forgiveness, a little extra feel. And yes, and just launches that thing <laughs> out there. So I'm excited to see that yeah. in testing. So, um, and again, we love Mizuno irons. They're always yeah. fantastic. And yep. um, they have a certain reputation among the golfing community that um, there's excellence in the designs of these irons. So um, I'm ready to get testing here. And uh, we've, got, we've got all the clubs here um, and we have Mr. Kevin Craft to swing. So um, are you ready to do that? Most set, no, certainly. All right, so Kevin, we're starting with the smallest, most uh, players oriented club of the three here. Indeed. The Mizuno Pro 241. Tell me what you see when you lay your eyes on that thing and, and look at that address. Yeah, it definitely looks a little smaller, a little more compact. Uh, I absolutely love what they've done with the top line, rounding things down. Uh, it just looks sleek. Yeah. It looks cool. Um, <laughs> looks hard to hit. <laughs> but, that's the, that's but, kind of the you point. Know, um, yeah, it's, you know, they talk about the, their redesigned sole. I see a very small sole. Right. It's, it's, it's she pretty narrow. Yeah, uh, and now, unfortunately, we don't get to test 
the turf interaction, so to speak, yeah, indoors yeah. on the mat. But, but um, there are golf courses maybe open, actually. We probably could go to here in Minnesota right now. It's nice enough, but um, I think we'll be more comfortable in here. Yeah, I think yeah. probably. Um, I do love the, the script Mizuno Pro on there. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a throwback, you know, nostalgic yep. Uh, yep. feel to uh, it. It just looks, it looks good. I mean, it's, it, it very much looks like a Mizuno. Okay. Um, I'm going to dare say that the, the crotch of this iron is getting a little thinner because the, over the last couple generations of Mizunos, I've looked down and I've been more pleased. And that's what, yeah. this is what my eye yeah. is drawn to in the, in a golf club. And the first thing I, I noticed putting these down was that this looks narrower and that makes the golf club more appealing to me. Hmm. So. You know. Okay. Um, good. Good to know. Good to know. I know you're. Those are the. If you've been watching the channel, you know those are the things that Kevin pays attention to when it comes to the aesthetics. Obsesses over. Form. Yeah. Um, also of note, the seven iron is thirty four degrees aloft, and then uh, also it's a good reminder too for for people that the standard lie angle for the seven iron this is sixty one and a half, which is a little bit flatter, I believe, yep. than than most other companies. So yep. um, take into effect that if you know maybe hit. Hanging one or two out to the right, that could be part of the reason why. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll blame the equipment for that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Couldn't be you. It's never me. <laughs> That's a pretty darn good start. Not bad. She feels good. Yeah, it just, there's just like no audio, basically. It's like... There like isn't any. It's just so soft sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have that, you know, the click of a player distance or, or a game improvement mm -hmm. iron. It's just a beautifully forged piece yeah. of metal. Yeah. Touch on the skinny side. Explore the whole club face. I've been hovering on your solid strikes you're hovering right in there in the 115 116 ball yeah and that's time. one of the things i wanted to see that's you know starting out with the with the you know the 2 1 i wanted to see 2 4 2 one. 4 1 2 year life cycle yeah, yeah yeah i've been on these a long time um, i wanted to see that progression in ball speed as we go right uh, yeah. as we go and up. i'm sure yeah. you'll see it i mean it's yeah a little skinny Been my ten trend, my trend lately. If I miss, I miss a little thin. Well, that, there's worse misses to have. There that, are, uh, yeah, yeah. If anything, it's just a little bit short. Probably safe. Yeah. All right. Let me see what we got here. We got seven. Okay. Let's see. This is probably the thinnest one. Yeah. Right? And then you had uh, that last one, I think, is the one that you kind of smoked. I mean, look at that. You know, the smash went up to 137. Yeah. But I will. So actually, I kind of want to take almost take that one out because of. Let's see if we do this and carry here. Yeah, look at this. So this is cool. So okay. this is person's pretty good. And you used to even said, like, this one for sure is a little thin. Yeah. Um, we could be generous. You know, I, I, we, we said the five, five good swings with. Yeah, um, Leave it in there. The seven it's, irons it's, here, but we want to be able to showcase too what happens when you don't hit it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. You know. So yeah. So I mean, here's an example of a miss. This was a, uh, you know, you lost. What do we got here? We lost about eight to ten carry yards mm -hmm. on that one. Yep. I oh, hit it thin. You know, one two seven, and then yeah. uh, here's one that you absolutely smashed. And we're calling it an outlier, but it's not really an outlier, I guess, because I know you'll hit it good enough to get those, but. Um, <laughs> For the most part, here's here's what we're looking at. Yeah. I mean, this is what you'd you're sort of the you know the the most important sample of the, the entire thing, right? So you got five shots here. Yep. Um, I'll I'll uh, break down the whole all of the data, but pretty consistent spin. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty consistent across the board. Your your carry distance is plus or minus two point zero yards. Total distance is going to be one seventy darn near every time as we break this down. One seventy three, one seventy point three, one seventy one point eight. I mean. This one really the, just a, a, one of the larger misses of the of the group. Yeah. But you're hovering around 170 total and 162, 63 carry every single time. Um, what do you think when you see these numbers here, Kevin? Um, 
pretty much what I would expect from a from a pure blade. Um, you know, 34 degree loft, we're not going to see quite as much ball speed. Right. We're going to see a little bit more spin. Um, you know, the the average there was um, a little higher spin than I typically see off mine, but my okay. irons are, are a little bit stronger. They're more like the like the uh, two four threes. Okay. So um, yeah, I mean, it's feels great, looks great, kind of gave me what I expected. Uh, you're going to get some feedback, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you catch it a little thin, you know. Right. Um, a little smaller, more compact, uh, you know, club head, you're going to feel those misses heel and, and, and toe a little bit and, and thin. So, um, you know, this is, this is for the guy that wants that, that yeah. they're really looking for, you know, the most control they can find right. and, and the most feedback they can find. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I, I think, um, you know, as we move to the two, four, three, that the feel on maybe the, one or two missets you may have is going to be feel a little bit different with this one. I, would I think imagine. So, yeah. so let's go to the two four three here. Okay. Give you that. Um, but as we're getting the setup on the track, man, uh, you put that mm. one down at a dress. Does it man. look bigger to you? Um, not really. Really? Okay. Um, Kudos to them if it really doesn't because it's, they, they've it, kind of hidden the. Yeah, it's it's still back of it. Fairly small. Uh, they've they've definitely taken some of that top line out, and yeah. it just looks so clean. I mean, it just you put it down, and you just mm, that's 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 what you want a golf club to look like. Yeah, right there. Um, you know that there you got some some good stuff going on in the back, right? They're going to give you some forgiveness back here. Mm -hmm. um, sole width is a little wider. Um, they talked about a wrap around sole. You can kind of see how that how that's that's built into this yeah. this club. And uh, yeah, but they yeah, have they have redesigned that kind of micro slot in the cavity there too, compared to the two two three. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit different shape, and it's you know obviously optimizing that launch and and some ball speed there too that you're probably yeah. going to see here. So and also at 32 degrees, like you mentioned, so yeah. probably just because of that can see more ball speed. But even um, within the design of the club too, they've just made it a little bit more explosive. My personal favorite of the previous gen was the the two two three. Yeah. Um, that was a golf club that I thought, you know, I could throw into the bag at any point mm -hmm. and, and be fine with. And this just looks like a so a high a nice bar. Step. There's a high bar to yeah, reach for the yeah, two four three. Absolutely. And ball speed. Immediate jump in ball speed. Yeah. Interesting. The spin went out though. Yeah. How about that? For three swings in, I think you've hit all of them pretty darn good. <laughs> They've been solid. There, I mean, that dispersion is probably pretty good. How's the uh, feel of this one compared to the two, four, one? It's good. They're, I mean, it feels like it's got a little more oomph behind yeah. it. Um, but again, we're not hearing that click. We're not. Oh no. I'm not feeling anything. I would never that's... expect that from a no, you know, uh -huh. club. <laughs> yeah, and you're striping it. Couple little hangers. That's the lie angle, Kevin. Remember? Yes, that's right. We talked Def about this. Definitely the lie angle. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Here's our breakdown on the numbers. I'll. Uh... Yeah, this is a pretty disgusting dispersion, actually. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't even know like what to remove from this because this we, we we did take out one kind of this is a the strong word for it so the flyer, only so to speak. The, yeah i guess i mean the I, only difference so there maybe is this the one rate. and then uh I'm trying to think this is maybe your worst contact from this one so maybe we'll go with these five here okay so the best five from each up there okay. um let's go we'll, we'll go look at the the numbers here I'm, this is the biggest 
surprise to me. Yeah, that is a spin. that is definitely a little surprising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't think it's a bad thing to have no, no, more actually, spin. No, no, actually not at all. If you're yeah. if you're in it for control, yeah. having more spin with more ball speed is great, mm-hmm. right? We're going to get keep that stopping power. So, yeah. Um, now, a part of it could be the fate your face angle was a little bit more open yes. with the 243, so. Yes. But I I don't expect that to generate, you know, no. 3500 RPM. Yeah. That, that seems like a lot. So, uh, potentially a, maybe a higher spinning iron here. Maybe some of those, the properties of that iron head with a, maybe a lower center of gravity are launching it a little bit higher, uh, but very consistent with both clubs, right? I mean, you look at your yeah. ball speed consistency here. Yeah. Um, carry distance consistency is very good. That thing, I mean, when we have this type of model and the players put that in the bag, they need to know it's going to be consistent for them. And even your misses with the 243 were so... We're tight. I mean, yeah. the ones that we removed from the set here were, well, they were right there. They were a little more center of face, just face left open. Yeah. Versus, right. I didn't catch anything really particularly thin. thin. Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, and then obviously, we're just looking over here at the landing angle too, comfortably yeah. up there. No yeah. worries about that. Um, so, yeah. And I, I imagine too, as we look at the dispersion, two very small dispersion patterns. Um, yeah. As we mentioned, we, you know, the, the, the face angle was a little bit open with this club. Um, so that's why it's out to the right and potentially causing some of that spin to increase. But I still, I think it's a, it's a relatively high spinning club cause that's a two, it's yeah. two degrees stronger in loft. So yeah. it really shouldn't spin more, but no, it, it nonetheless re- it did really shouldn't, but I'm okay with it doing it. Yeah, no. And that's you a know? good thing. I mean, yeah. I think people always hear you want low spin for distance, but more spin is, is more control from um, a, from a blending standpoint, it probably works out even better that way. You know, yeah. if you're going to use the longer irons in this and the shorter irons in the in the uh, the two four one the two four one, uh, giving you a little more ball speed and a little more spin, keep you from creating that big gap. Yeah. Right. So, if you look at the trend across, you know, the the golf world is making more sets blendable, making them easier to to put something a little more forgiving at the top end, and if, then if you want to go and play a play a more bladed club at the bottom, uh, right. you know, companies are making this much easier and that's a, that's a great thing. And for our purposes, if we did get a little bit more spin, um, you know, it, that probably works out pretty well too. Yeah. 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 And it's, I mean, more spin with irons is most of the time it's a good thing unless yeah. someone is truly like a cut across the ball and hit attack angle, like minus eight and they're really spinning it. Yeah. If you're seeing 8,000 RPM, Right. You we're probably going to try and lower that spin. Right, right, right. right. But most at people, 6,000, you know, we're probably going to be pretty More happy. can help you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, hopefully, I mean, now we're going to go to a club that should spin at a lower rate than what yes. we've seen. This should. is a Disney you know, Pro 245. This is also probably going to feel and look, I would imagine, quite a bit different yeah. than the first two. Yep. All right. So, that club now, I mean, I, how much bigger, I guess, does it look at address? I mean, it's bigger. It's noticeably bigger, but it's not offensive. It's not a okay. big caveman club or anything. Um, you know, top line's a little bit thicker. Yeah. Blade length's a little bit longer. Sole width a little bit wider. But, you know, you look at it and it just looks like a blade. It does. Right? It does. I mean, it's it gives you that real nice combination of the aesthetic and then the tech behind it. Right. You don't have to sacrifice forgiveness and playability to have something that looks mm-hmm. like this. Right. So, yeah. 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 That's what Mizuno's done a really good job with that over the years. They, they another, certainly have another addition uh, of note, 30 degrees of loft for this one. So okay. it's 34, 32, 30 um, in the Mizuno pro 24 series. So. Okay. Another increase in ball speed, but not an increase in spin. We're getting into the 120s here now. Okay. That's kind of what happens when you start squaring it up. <laughs> How's the feel of this one now compared to feels good. Yeah. I mean, it, it again, like going from the uh, 41 to the 40, sorry, 241 to the 243 now mm-hmm. to the 245. Mm-hmm. You, there, you can see kind of in, increasing explosiveness. Yes, it yes. definitely feels hotter coming yep. off this off this phase. 
A little thin. Okay. Still out there. Yeah. That's Zero feet of curve. It's yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Was a little heavy. A little he uh, I thought I heard that one a little yep, bit. Yep. There's the spin drop. Yep. Actually, yep. I mean, distance-wise, that's going to work out nicely. But <laughs> just a different means of getting there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's okay. See here, Woof. the Mizuno Pro Two Four Five. Yep. Um, this was the. Uh, that was the thin guy. The thin guy. The. And then this was that the one was the fat, the fat guy. I'm the fat guy. <laughs> so another look at uh, dispersion. Again, we took we basically hit seven shots with each club and took the five best. Um, and this is the this is what the results were. We'll go back to the table here from the seven iron set. You know, again, another increase in ball speed. We're up mm -hmm. to almost 120 on average. Smash factor then goes up. The spin went down here. Very consistent, though. Yeah. But the spin went down, which would be expected. It's, I think this club performed, I mean, exactly how Mizuno designed it to perform. It's, yeah. It does the combination of low spin and distance, but also it gives consistency and it gives soft feel. Um, I think that's a really good golf club for a pretty good wide, wide range of players because there's going to be enough players out there that might be good enough to say they, they're a lower handicap, but mm -hmm. they're losing maybe some distance with their irons. Yeah. Um, this is a great one for them to Absolutely. maintain that, but still get the feel that they're used to. Yep. If you look at the, if you look at the ball speeds, right? We started at 114, go to 116.6. That's 2.6 miles an hour, 2.8 to get up to 119. Yeah. So you're seeing that nice progression, two degrees aloft, mm -hmm. about two and a half uh, miles an hour ball speed. And that played out exactly right. as it should. That's a good point. Um, yep. All right. So my club head speed came up just a fraction there on that, the last one. But yeah. Um, you know, if you look at the launch angles, uh, interesting. The the two four one didn't launch quite as high as the as the two four three. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's a little thin. Yeah. Yeah. But um, overall, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good pretty stuff. Good. And then yeah. we can look at dispersion here and two yeah. and see. Um, again, this is. And that's that's really what I expect my dispersion table to look like. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't like seeing the ball turn too much to the left. So yeah, the little hanger to the right is, is what I would maybe expect. what your quote unquote miss would be. Yeah, if, okay. if it's usually just leaving the face slightly open. Okay. Uh, I'm more often gonna to miss right than I am to sure to miss sure. Left, so. Well, we are lucky enough today to have the four irons for each. So why don't we <laughs> we'll hit uh, three three good ones with each four iron, and then we'll come back and and review all the data here at the at That's the end. A tall ask right there. Get three good ones on a four iron. I haven't carried a four iron. Oh, I believe iron. in you. Look what you just did. I haven't carried a four iron in like 15 years. <laughs> that, uh, that's a good point, actually. Maybe I should hit him. <laughs> a little skinny. Whew. That was better. That was better. Might go a little left. Woo. Nope, not much left. Okay. Four iron loft is for this club twenty four degrees. Okay. That was nuked. Carrying this about two hundred is what you would expect. <sighs> yeah, based on the loft. Yeah. All right, you got to have three good ones there. Oh my gosh, zero feet of curve there. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Oh, at least. Ah. I mean, I don't even know what. <laughs> I guess I'll take this one out. <laughs> <laughs> These are, yeah, just do five swings, I guess. I mean, that's just okay. too good. Okay. Holy ball speed. That one's hit really good. Just left the face open. That was it really good, and I didn't leave the face open. So that's really good. One foot of curve. You're hitting so many just Ooh. dead straight golf shots. Today. Nice. I like it. Oh, that was low and in the heel. Woo! 
That's the best contact. This is why you don't carry four irons right there. It did go absolutely dead straight. <laughs> <laughs> Into the water. <laughs> as long as there's not anything to carry, you're fine. Yeah. One foot again? What is this? Is this? <laughs> I've been practicing. Oh, give me All one right. more swing. That was that one was bad. You gotta kick. You gotta kill out that super miss. That one was super, super miss. miss but... <laughs> the super miss. This one. Gah. Yeah, it was terrible. All right. I'll I'll actually completely remove it. Okay. Just for you. Thank you. Just for you, I gave you that. My word. My word. Okay. One, four, five on the Ooh. smash. Okay. Smashy. And two, four, five. Very smashy. That one wasn't very good either. It was better though. Was it? Yeah, I missed not. the world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I hit the seven iron so good. This is why I don't carry four irons right now. We are seeing it in live time. That one, <sighs> that's better. Is that one, that was a good, wasn't it? That was better. Okay. So the two, four, three, four iron is 22. Okay, this one's 21? This one's 21 and a half. Oh, so that's why I'm not seeing a big jump. Okay. Yeah. One more. I'll have one more. Gotta hit one more. And lose track of that ball in the sky. Still, that blue still tracer. hanging out to the right. That's just the lie angle. <sighs> what do you mean? What do you mean? These are nah. I'm disappointed. Look at it. That's I'm fine. Di I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in that one. I know you are. Yeah. But, okay. So quickly, we got the four iron numbers up here. Yeah. Um, we got aspersion. We've got numbers here. What do you think of the four irons? I know we saw so the, the two four ones at 24 degrees, the two four three is at 22, two four five is 21 and a half. They scare me. I play a hybrid. They're so much, hybrid's so much yeah. bigger, right? Um, no, I mean, they're, they all feel good. Um, obviously they're, they're hittable. Um, if I were to play a four iron, I would probably go with the two, four, five. Yeah. Uh, just given the fact that I like seeing a little bit of meat down there to, and a long iron. to be able to, to be able to hit it. Um, still not gonna, I'm going to stick with my hybrid <laughs> Yeah, because it's, you know, look, I don't even love hybrids that much, but I've got a hybrid that is so good that I, I can't get rid of it. Even if I right. thought that I, I, I could, mm -hmm. um, but they're not that hard to hit. No, no, I didn't um, think so. I mean, you were, you were still hitting it out there. I mean, your, your dispersion patterns are still very good. They're still, yeah, nice except for that guy. I know. That guy. Yeah, I know you were, you're, I know yeah. you're hitting your, yeah. Hard on yourself right now for that one out to the right. Yeah. But realistically, yeah. all these shots are still very good out there. But that's so. why I don't play a four. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're all. They're, it, it's for the, for the guy that doesn't like hybrids. There's something in the in. There's something here for everybody. Yeah. Right? No, you're, you're right. If you want to play a bladed four iron, two four one, no worries. Two four three. I thought it was actually quite easy to hit. Yeah. Um, still has that nice compact look. And then this one's a little bit bigger and it's, it's a little bit, a little easier to hit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought they all felt good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think now it's, we've done the testing. Let's wrap it up here with final thoughts. Okay. All right, Mr. Kraft, some good testing complete there. I thought yeah. we learned a lot about these clubs, uh, yeah. some surprises, but I think for the most part, it's the Mizuno irons doing what the Mizuno irons are supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and so, I think, you know, we'll start with the Pro 241, the blade. That was the one you hit first with both seven and four mm -hmm. iron. Um, I know you liked the refinements on the shaping a little bit. Definitely. Um, very consistent on the performance. Um, what type of golfer is going to be best suited to play the Mizuno Pro 241? 
professionals and and low single digit handicappers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's what it's really built for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, like you mentioned several times, players that want as much control as, yep. as possible. Yep. Um, With this distance is not our priority. Right. 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 So it's usually for the guy that already has that. Yep. Uh, probably not the person that's that's looking for distance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, definitely the 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 better players club of the group. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So then we moved into the Mizuno Pro two four three. Now this is kind of the shallow cavity mm -hmm. type of design. Yep. Um, Interestingly, with the seven iron, we saw more spin, um, which is, uh, I think it, it's a good thing. It's surprising yeah. in our testing and yeah. might not be necessarily the, you know, how it goes for you and your testing yeah. or, or maybe in, in the club footing that you get for your irons. But um, we saw that today. Um, interesting, but nonetheless, we still saw it was very consistent and um, a player that wants to know their number with their seven iron mm -hmm. is still going to get that with this club. Yeah. Again, professionals and, mm -hmm. and a little bit better player, yeah. right? Somebody up to... Probably 10, 12 handicapper can, can play something like that yeah. pretty comfortably without thinking that they're pushing themselves too hard. Um, nice blend of, of performance and technology. Uh, extremely good looking golf club. Yeah. Uh, I like the refinements that they've made in the head this year. Uh, that little bit more compact head looks really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, they felt great. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, of course, we have the kind of player's distance. There's an Pro 245. Yes. Um, there's a, I think there's multiple uses for this thing because yes. I think there's going to be a lot of players that might be interested in that as a long iron. Yeah, you can also combo these three models together. Yep. Um, but from from your perspective, after hitting and, and testing, um, the type of player that's best suited for the Mizuno Pro Two Four Five. Almost anybody, really. Yeah. Uh, there's not really much limitation here. Uh, it's still a little bit better players club, right? It doesn't have all the hallmarks of a game improvement club. Right. Uh, but for for that player that especially maybe in a longer iron, wants something that's a little bit more forgiving. It gives you multiple opportunities to do the blending, uh, get that little bit more forgiveness at the top yeah. end and, and on down. But also, you know, you can go through that whole set and have a little more distance-oriented player's golf club. Right, yeah. I think this is one of those... I mean, this entire test was a classic example, once again, of clubs that are designed to perform a certain way, and then we test them out, and they, and they, they do it. And yeah. they do it. Um, yep. I mean, you mentioned the, the gradual increase in ball speed mm -hmm. that we saw in the testing, and that makes total sense with how they're lofted. So um, I think just another fantastic iron line from Mizuno, which is yeah. nothing you know different than what we've come to expect from them over yeah. the years. They have a, a, a wonderful forging process that gets soft feel, but also the performance delivers too. So. Mr. Kevin Kraft, thank you for joining and uh, testing Absolutely. these out today. I think they're going to be awesome in 2024 in fittings. They will do um, very well. I think yes. you'll do. I think you'll fit a lot of players into these this year. Yes. So, um, golfers, make sure you schedule your fitting and uh, also learn more about the Mizuno Pro 24 Iron Series at SecondSwing.com. Schedule that fitting. Get with someone like Kevin. We'll get you dialed in. Thank you for watching.